I'm actually shocked that she told me when she gave him the price, 160. I thought, wait a minute, is it some extra bonus money I gotta pay? Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Esme and welcome to Roger and Esme Vlogs. So today's subject will be going to our neighbor's house and he's one of our subscribers. So before anything else, daghan salamat sa inyong pagsuporta o paghigugma sa aming channel. Thank you so much for your support and love guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos so maybe you're wondering guys why my face is crunching because it's a little bit hot outside and yeah it's 3 p.m filipino time and it's thursday <laughs> climate is a little bit hot today sweaty 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 so let's go to our friend's house. <laughs> you already seen him in one of our past vlogs and now he is staying in one of the apartments here at Mam Kupang's. <laughs> <laughs> so here's Greg and we'll be asking him questions since he's staying here in the Philippines for a month now. So Greg, how are you? My one month anniversary, <laughs> and I survived. <laughs> so how is it so far that you stayed here for a month and you're living in an apartment? I'm doing great. I'm, um, I, I'm doing better than I thought I would. You know, I've adjusted and um, it's, it's um, a learning curve. You know, I watch the YouTube channels and stuff and everything. And I pretty much stuck with what they were saying. And I really haven't had no issues. Um, like I said, I just moved in this place, I think a week ago, week and a half ago. We'll show you inside, but right now I got everything all on the floor. I just been cleaning, so <laughs> look like a hurricane hit it right now, but maybe next <laughs> week. <laughs> it's okay, Greg. We, we understand that you're still in the process. Yeah, of I'm just cleaning the walls. Yeah. I just wanted just just you know just a home cleaning before i put everything in place uh, you want to be tidy and yeah stiff and i mean I, i'm not super clean but i want to start off clean you know? <laughs> okay that's good that's mm -hmm. good to know so so far what do you think about san carlos living here for one month um i plan to stay here for at least a year and I'm traveling, I, I say I gave myself every two weeks I'm gonna travel to another city and stuff. But I like to keep San Carlos as like a home base. Um, like I said before my other video, um, I'm from Houston, so I'm used to a large hustling bustle city. So I didn't think I would wanna be in San Carlos cause it's slow, after eight o'clock everything is shut down. <laughs> but it's kind of giving me an inner peace. I feel comfortable, I, man, I've been getting the best sleep ever back home i never could sleep all through the night and i'm out like a light here okay that's that's good to know that you're relaxing here yeah. and you have good sleep that's good to know so you you really feel that you're comfortable here yeah and meeting the locals i make an effort every day i make an effort to go to a place and and meet meet someone and initially i think um you know what, when I used to um, speak, yeah, I was kind of bothered the first couple of days because when I speak to them, they wouldn't speak back <laughs> or they look shocked. And I kind of took offense to that. And then after, I can't remember, someone told me, you know, you like six foot four and it's kind of intimidating and uh, they're kind of shocked that you're talking to them like saying hello and stuff. But, you know, like I said, I walk around here and stuff, everything. Now everybody's high, high, high and everything. And I get the same three questions. I don't care where I go. I can go to the mall, I can go to the store, I can go to the little soccer field. Everybody asks me these three same questions. What's your height? You play in the NBA? And um, 
and stuff. Oh, are you married? Do you have a wife? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I get them all the time. Yeah, that, that, that's the most frequent ones since they just seen you mm -hmm. and you're pretty tall than the other foreigners that come come here. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the reason why they get intimidated because of your height. <laughs> I don't even know if intimidated is a good word. It's just like they look shocked, shocked that yeah. I spoke to them, you know, <laughs> and um, that's it. Um, that's a normal thing, normal reaction for mm -hmm. Filipinos, especially if you would react or be friendly towards them. Because, yeah. you know, it's not common for a foreigner to interact right away. So that's really a common reaction. So don't be offended. It's also good that you, you said that to us right now. <laughs> that you got offended because they didn't had a response back yeah. or they didn't say hi to you. <laughs> now, about the people here, do you have any problems like how to communicate with them? Yeah, I, like I mentioned this in the other video too. It's like, you know, I, when I was in the US, I was just like these guys watching now, you hear a lot about every YouTube channel they say the main reason to go to the Philippines because they speak English. So I thought I wouldn't have a problem. And myself, I speak English and German. I lived in Germany for 10 years. So I feel like, well, they speak English, I would, I would be okay. And it's not, like I said before, it's not like they don't speak English. They prefer, <laughs> well, they kind of shy, like they think they're gonna say something wrong or whatever and stuff. <laughs> because I noticed I'm giving them the, the directions in English, they go into the place, but they respond back to me, maybe broken English a little bit. They know what you're saying and everything, and it's getting better. And I'm trying to learn the language as I go, so that's a goal I have. <laughs> but as far as the people, I say 99.99% of the people, man, been more than what I thought when I got here. Okay, so you already experienced this bitability, yeah. is what we, we used to say. It's a big difference than the U.S. It's just so much um, tension and everybody's a threat. Here, I don't, I don't feel threatened, I feel safe. Not just because I'm tall or nothing. I think people just generally just, I ain't gonna say they like me, but they, it's just a general respect. Like here, my name is Sir. <laughs> Everybody sir. call me Sir. <laughs> <Not Joe. Yeah. laughs> I got, got called Joe once. <laughs> okay, okay. What can you say about your apartment? Well, yeah, what can you say about your apartment? Um, man, like I was, you know, like I, I watched when I was in the U.S., um, my home, I paid 2800 a month, American uh, dollars for yeah. it. Yeah. But now? Um, I pay 155 or 160 a month, and it's pretty big. I think two, two um, couples can live in there, two separate couples in there. Yeah, it's the same scenario that we had before. Yeah. And it's more than enough for me, really. And I'm, a I'm actually shocked. That she told me when she gave him the price, 160. I thought, wait a minute, is it some extra bonus money I gotta pay? <laughs> <laughs> so no. with my budget, I was going through it. I, I, I have, um, I think I can last on a thousand dollars living here with just and not starving or nothing, just buying regular stuff. But I've been kind of overspending because it's one thing you got to learn when you get here is to try not to, um, what's that, what were they, um, converge your money over. Yeah. Yes. You got to think pesos, everything you got to think in a peso mentality. But it's hard because I get paid in American dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and I find myself over tipping everybody and overpaying stuff. But what about the, the skin tax? Yeah, what about the skin tax? Have you experienced that now? Okay, that's why I got the 99.999%. <laughs> I called one of the drivers and I was going to the hardware store and he confronted me. And I usually, I think the ride is 10 pesos. I yeah, think. only 10 pesos. Yeah, but I used to give him like 30 or something, whatever. But he stopped. And he asked me how much, all right, I said, it's 10 pesos, right? He says, um, no. And he says 20 or whatever. I said, okay, I'll get in. He gets in, he takes me all the way around. I know where I stay, but he <laughs> takes me all the way around and he says he's lost. And he, he tried to get me to pay him some more money. 
I said, <laughs> no, just let me, we kind of basically a small argument. I said, just let me off here. You let me off here, I just walked, I was right across the street. <laughs> and I just walked over here. But that's the only guy, and I wouldn't even say that was a bad encounter. It was just... Uh, he was he trying, his hustle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was just trying to, to get extra money from you. So, yeah. And there are people like that here, but only yeah. a few. Um, when it comes to the whereabouts here, like the direction, is it difficult for you or simple for you? Um, it's, it's difficult because the streets are not... I don't know if it's just in this here area. The street name is not the name they know it by. Like, I tell someone I live on First Street, I mean, uh, but the street name is not First Street. It has a different name on it. Yeah, actually that name is just new. Yeah, that's oh. just new. That name came from like, um, the last name from the old generation. Yeah. But the Google, your Google will work over here. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good thing about it. Yeah. The Google Maps is always right here. <laughs> it will work. <laughs> yes. They know this street as Margarita, and it's First Street all the time. Margarita, First Street, and yeah. everybody knows that. Um, yeah. Aside from that, since you've encountered, you open up to us that you you were dating in a phase, and what well, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, my my reason for coming to the Philippines was never a woman or nothing like that. I actually was going to Belize and then just watching some channels, I decided to come to the Philippines. So I really wasn't, I knew when I got here, I'll find someone. So that wasn't my thing. But um, I, when I got here, I met the, met the um, young lady. And um, I mean, everything is okay, but I'm a real uh, mild temp tempered person and stuff. You know, I really <laughs> don't get into no arguments. And if you got moves, you got moves. But fellas, don't underestimate the power of Tampa. I know you're thinking back home, <laughs> oh, just let her ride it out. No, it's, uh, well, in this case, um, it was every three days. And she would just come to the house and not even speak to me for four days. She would just walk in the house, late and leave out and wouldn't say nothing. And I'm like, okay, I read about this Tampa stuff, so how long it lasts? <laughs> and it just was too much. It was like to the point where I just, ah, I just had to call it, call it on this one and <laughs> I couldn't take it no more. And, and you're not going to know what you did wrong. They're never going to tell you what you did. Yeah, so. there are just few women that would be direct to the point. So most of them would just be in a silent mode, give you the cold shoulder yeah. and doesn't, you would not be there. It's like they would just live with no one around them. Like, that, that's most of the girls To give you an example, like the last time, <laughs> I was like, well, if she do it again, that's a wrap. Because I, I, I like to talk, talk, you know, come to a compromise, it ain't just my way. But I was watching a YouTube channel, Rude Beauty or something like that, yeah. some lady, and she walked by and saw it, and next thing you know, she was just packing her clothes and left. I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know, man, but I was like, okay, that's enough, man. That's enough. <laughs> jealous <laughs> she was jealous yeah she w she's she's thinking that oh she he's like watching different women other in the YouTube girls. channel other girls so mm -hmm. that's the mindset of most Filipinas they get jealous easily yeah I see that yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, I see a, that it's a lot of women here too so you know I, I can yeah. see why but I wouldn't add, I wouldn't doing it so I don't. <laughs> It's okay, Greg. Yeah. At least you experience uh, the first time of tampo. Yeah, so. but I know what they're thinking. Oh, it's, it's not that serious, you know, because I was at home. I used to watch y'all and stuff, and y'all talk about it. And I said, oh, I could deal with a, a, two, a day or two off. It's no. brutal. <laughs> <laughs> they would not really speak, or she would not speak to you. Yes. When I say a whole four days, I'm not exaggerating. Not one word. <laughs> I open the door, I say hi, just walk on in, <laughs> eat, take a shower, Nothing. Watch, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of the examples of Tampo, guys. So never underestimate Tampo. Never. <laughs> so thank you so much, Greg, for um, opening up to us. Thank you so much for 
telling them some information coming from our subscriber that experienced staying here for a month. So guys, I hope that this is informative for you. And <laughs> thank you so much for watching till the end. And see you in our next vlog. Bye! <laughs>